And this is our study guide for chapter one, test answer key, page two. Coplanar means the points have to be on the same plane. And then number 10, they have to include point C. So there's a couple of these that would fit that information. First of all, you have the front right plane, which is C, F, E, and B. Then you look at the back plane, which is C, F, D, and A. We also want to consider the bottom plane, which is with the, uh, the points C, A, and B. But though that one will not be included since we're only supposed to have four points. Number 11 doesn't have any restrictions on how many points it needs to be as long as you have three planes. So we have the top plane, E, F, and D. We have the front right, which is C, F, E, and B. And we have the front left plane, which is the... Uh, E, D, A, and B plane. In number 12, the intersection of planes A, B, and E, and D, E, and F is going to be a line segment. Notice from D to E, so it's a line segment D, E. Use a line segment signal at the top. And here, number 15, we see this is true. So we look back up at the figure, we can look at the bottom plane, the front right and the front left plane, they all intersect at point B. We can look at the left, right, and top plane, all intersect at point E, that makes that true. And number 18, a great idea for a problem like this is to make a sketch of what you already know. So you have a seven inside, so you have two of those, and you have a sign that we don't know, so we'll call those ends. As you take the perimeter, which is two times the seven and two times the ends, and it has to equal 36, subtract a 14 from both sides, and after you divide by two, you notice the missing sides have to be 11. And once you find the missing side of 11, you can easily find the area by multiplying the length and width, 7 times 11, and get 77 inches squared.